I'm John and I love eating pepperoni, but I also love eating meat stones. My name's Dan. I like to spread anchor, but I also like to spread the love. Hi, I'm Mark. I like polos, but I also like Skoda Fabiens. Yep, this is the Polo, which is Volkswagen's big brand version of a super mini. You see, Volkswagen is an almighty car group that does something called cost alleviation via process streamlining, multi-brand platform allocation and component cross-pollinization. In other words, it takes the same group of parts and it uses them to make the sporty seat Ibiza, the posh Audi A1, and then finally the bargain basement Skoda, which is absolutely nothing like this at all. Now, this is probably one of the least depressing small hatchbacks with five doors that you will ever see. It's a couple of years old, but look, look at all this sharp stuff around here. These creases here, they're nice. And they do stuff like this, contrasting roof and wheels. Now that's an attempt to try and get fewer people who drink real ale and wear fleeces and stuff to buy them, but it sort of works in the same way as having a matching hat and shoes works. And yet, despite that general goodness, this is still an excellent value car, as we shall see. So, the Fabia range starts at that price there. And then at the other end of the spectrum, you have the Audi A1 range, which starts at that price there. So, in the middle, you have the Volkswagen, and then you have the... Oh. Well, well done, Seat. Now, we've called this a no-frills cabin there, but we'll mean that in the best possible way, because this interior is pure class. Now, it's really hard to make simple look good, but... Skoda's done a pretty good job in here. I mean, it's hardly mesmerizing, as you can see, but it's neat. And more importantly, the people at Skoda who twiddle the knobs until they're the perfect level of firmness, well, they did a good job because these knobs are perfectly firm. It's pretty well endowed too. Well, once you've gone up the range a little bit, that is. That's because base model S cars do have DAB and Bluetooth, but you know Skoda's clutching at straws a bit when it's mentioning things like luggage hooks and grab handles, and it's given the plastic wheel trims a name to make them sound more exciting, and a bit like a budget mouthwash. Hey, I didn't like brushing my teeth, so I just used Dentro. But go up to SE spec, and even though it started under 13 grand, you get a proper car with stuff like alloy wheels, rear parking sensors, a decent stereo including smartphone link with a big touch screen, air conditioning, leather here, leather here, buttons here, and if you like, more space back here because there's an estate version, which for about this much more, gives you about this many more litres in the boot, which works out at about six quid per litre, or the same as this bottle of olive oil, or twice as much as this bottle of olive oil. See, this particular three-cylinder engine looks rubbish on paper, or on the bonnet as the case may be, but even though it's slower than Forrest Gump, it doesn't matter, because it's like a box of chocolates. Very sweet. Listen. And in this case, you do know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get almost 60 miles per gallon, if you're careful. You're not gonna have to pay very much in tax, and you won't have to deal with a chuntering diesel engine rattling under the bonnet like a crazed wildlife murderer. But what really makes this car sing is the total of the driving experience because it's brilliant to live with. Everything's made to be simple and intuitive, so it's as easy to turn the temperature up and down as it is to find a radio station. drive position is like a big cause, which means there's loads of steering wheel movement, loads of seat adjustment, the pedals aren't cramped, there's plenty of headroom. And even though the ride quality is more biased towards comfort, it's still a car that is class to drive on the door handles. Of which there are two on each side of every one of these, because this is first and foremost a practical small car, which also means there's plenty of space back here. Shamon. And there is tons of choice, starting with the engines, which come in many different horsepowers. 
The petrols, well, they start at 60 and go up to 110, while the 1.4 litre diesel engine has 75, 90 or 105 horsepower and averages almost 80 miles per gallon regardless. And you can have an automatic gearbox, and a really good one at that. And if you really love France enough, there's this Monte Carlo version, which is quite expensive. The only thing missing, really, is a replacement for the brilliant VRS diesel hot hatch version of old, but, you know, that'll turn up eventually, won't it? So you see, there's something for everyone here. Well, everyone looking for a small, reasonably priced five-door hatchback, that is. But if that's what you're looking for, this is peak runabout. My name's Dan. I like to spread anchor. I also like to spread the love. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, right, I've got to keep straight, though.